Hello noble ones and welcome to Metatron's Academy. Today we are continuing our series where we see how much a native Italian speaker can understand when listening to other Romance languages. And today we are focusing on a language called Occitan or Occitan. So for those of you who don't know, to give you a very brief summary of what Occitan is, it's a Romance language spoken in the southeast of France in an area called Provence, which is one of the reasons why this language is also called Provençal. But it is also spoken in the region of Spain called Catalonia. Now, for those of you who don't know the geography, Catalonia is in the northeast of Spain and it connects to the southwest of France. Although it is important to say that Catalan is its own language. Perhaps I'll dive more deeply into this topic on another video. Last but not least, there are some areas of Italy where Occitan is spoken, and mostly in the northwest, in the region called Piedmont or Piemonte, specifically in the areas of Cuneo and in some areas of the city of Torino. With that being said, keep in mind that it's only spoken by a very small minority of speakers. In fact, in my life as an Italian coming from the south, every time I've met someone from Torino, Turin, they couldn't speak it. So it, it's just a language minority and apparently, once again, not something I've ever encountered, but in some areas in Calabria. With that out of the way, let's see what it sounds like and how much I can understand. The Occitan language. Lingue d'eau. Numbers. Un, dos, tres, quatre, cinq, seis, sept, huit, no, dix. <laughs> so already, coming from like no knowledge whatsoever, the first thing I'm noticing is that it really sounds like a, it does sound like a mixture between Spanish and French. Should I say Spanish? Well, you know what I mean. Like I'm saying from an untrained eye, let's say that I don't know anything about the, the, the actual linguistic origin, lexical similarities. I would say it kind of sounds like a, a Spanish trying to read French or a French trying to read Spanish in the sense that at the beginning, number one in Parisian French or Metropolitan French, you would say un, sorry if I mispronounce it, but here he said it more like une, which sounds like the feminine une in Parisian French. Also, the other numbers does do sound a lot more like Spanish numbers, or possibly in Catalan, but it's such a mix. I would recognize most numbers. Maybe the only one I wouldn't recognize so far would be eight. Maybe eight was a little difficult for me. Greetings and phrases. Bonjour. Adieu. Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. Al ribeire. Aleu. See, this is so interesting. The the, the first couple sounded a lot like French, but then again they didn't, if, if you know where I'm coming from. I could I could recognize good morning, I could recognize good night, but then when he said goodbye, I think, it sounded closer to the Italian arrivederci, didn't it? Rather than the French au revoir. My gosh, this is so fascinating. It sounds like a full-on mix. Let's go. Allez, bapla? Oh, no. Interesting, because the second set I didn't understand anything. The first set, I could still recognize the, the meaning of the words. The second set, I have no idea what he said. Vocabulary. Rucci, Bill, Jaune, Irange, Blaufust, Blauclar, Maroon, Violet. So now that she said Maroon, I, I realized finally that she's saying colors. And uh, could I recognize the colors? Maybe she said like red and green, now that I retro retrospectively, at first I, it was just sounds. Then I, I recognized marron for brown, and then retrospectively I thought about him like, so the first two must have been red and green. I don't remember what else she said, I might need to listen to this, to this again, but let's continue, let's see if I can recognize more colors now that I know she's doing colors. Blanc, rose, negre, gris. So she said pink, black, I suppose. Then I don't know, I don't recognize the color. Un téléphone, des claus, une lieille, une hostal, une salle de bain, une ducho. Okay, so I only recognize the last two. I think they meant bathroom and shower. Shower, she said ducha. In, uh, in Italian, we say doccia, so it sounds actually quite close. I don't know how you say it in Spanish, to be honest, I'll have to look it up. Before that, she said something like sala de bagno, which sounds like bathroom. In Italian, you can say sala da bagno, but no one says it. So sala is another way to say a room. Usually it's not like a private room, a sala. 
could be, the way I understand it anyway as an Italian, gives me more of the idea of something public. And I know that some Italians would give me an example of something completely different, but you know what I mean. Sala da bagno, well, yeah, it sounds very formal in Italian though. Well, this was really interesting. I'd like to try and jump to a different video. I wanted to start with something very basic because it's my first uh, attempt at trying to understand this language. So far, I can see, of course, the Latin into it, the, the Latin origin, the common family, if you will. But it is difficult for me to understand for some reasons. Let's try another video. <laughs> Andare alla consegna di Monte Semvalli Pilota, o venda alla comune che ha chiesto che arrivano le barche dei pescatori. Alla persona lì viva... The only thing I understood was fishermen. <laughs> it's, this is tough. So far, this is tough. I don't know, of course, we need to make this like a comprehensive analysis. As you know, I need multiple videos, which is why I've already got like four videos in Spanish alone, two videos in Portuguese, and I'm going to continue. Uh, but for my first attempt, because there is a level of randomness as well and luck but for my first attempt here not going so well si c'è la renda usile i charadis affuscata dei bravi pezzunieri dinda che la lingua marseillaise granada e soppicata he said the language from marseille and that was it dei veleni me le punzo le zanche me sei gros coutillon pica e sei quei fa canonada che li va tan ben e stan ben a chi dinda che il quartier saint jean che veleni la pulitan pescado e sutaia de mosca I think he said something about a cannon shot, and then again something about fishermen, something about Naples. But I, I literally have not, like I'm understanding, I want to say less than 5%, almost nothing, which is so strange because so far we've been doing really well. Even with Catalan, we've been doing really well. Spanish, Portuguese, I, am, I sometimes have trouble understanding, but I understand more Portuguese than this so far. I have been saying that when I was a young man, I was a young Maybe now he said like the export market, but again, I'm, I'm just speaking single words. Let's continue. Maybe this is a particularly difficult one. It, was, it, it wasn't easy to find videos. So if you have other videos that you want to suggest me, if you think that this is too hard and you think, no, you should have listened to this one, don't put the links because then the videos, your comments get removed by the system, but do give me titles in the comments if you want me to like try and listen to other videos. Let's continue another another 20 seconds, 15 seconds, and then we'll look for another video. Okay, here I said melon, watermelon, and he also said something that sounded a bit like the French pomme de terre, which I know means potato. So maybe they have a similar root when it comes to how they say potatoes. Les rabeillos d'un sablon de blanc, qui fait du calo rouge. Les verrines dans la main, ils portent... Yeah, something white, and that's it. Let's move to another one. Let's see if we can find some people because sometimes body language can help a little bit. Let's go. So I believe it's very loud. Like the, the whole, it's not a very good recording. But what I could understand is I think she asked him why do. Do we speak Occitan or do you speak Occitan? I'm going to try. I'm going to say we. Uh, why do we speak Occitan? And he replied, because we want to keep the language alive. So far, it's the most I've understood, <laughs> if I'm right. Let's continue. It's such an interesting, intriguing linguistic study case. Honestly, like sometimes I, I'm looking at them and I'm like, it kind of sounds like French, but it doesn't, but it does, but it doesn't. And then other times they say things, I'm like, oh, that one sounded a bit like Spanish, but then it doesn't. So intriguing. I do, I do think he said that it's a pleasure for him to speak like Occitan, but that was it. 
Yeah, this one I understood. He said, I think it's important to speak the language. So the occasional aisle, we could say, of understanding and comprehension does still happen. So far, it's the, it's the Romance language I understand the least. So far. I think he's saying he wants to transmit, meaning he wants to his kids, maybe? I, I'm just guessing from context that Rollos, but then again, it sounds like nothing, so it would be a complete wild guess. But I think he wants to pass it on. This is, the, this is how we translate it, because in Italian, trasmettere can mean to pass it on. So interesting, he says pensi che, because that sounds a lot like Italian or Spanish, which is probably why sometimes I'm like, ah, maybe it does sound a bit more like, you know. Yeah, so now I was looking at the kid and kept saying this, Los rollos, so that must mean children, and so he wants to pass it on to his children. He, he keeps stating that, and that part I understood. I'm happy that I'm understanding at least a little bit as a Romance language speaker, because at first I was like, goodness gracious. So, is this the hardest one so far when it comes to understanding? It's one of the hardest, similar to how Romanian was for me, but then again, Romanian sometimes I could understand, and I've been told that it really depends on... It's like a dice roll when it comes to Romanian, because oftentimes I was told that there are words that, that they can use that have got, like, double choice. They can choose a word that is Latin-rooted that I would recognize, and then a word that is La Slavic-rooted, and I won't recognize to say the same thing. And also, I'm gonna have to try and do a bit more Romanian, because in my video, in one of the videos that I was watching, they were mentioning a lot of place names, which would, would made it particularly difficult. But then when I listened to the two young Romanian, guys I did understand more than here so is this the hardest one so far I want to say yeah so far this was quite tough for me to understand and only occasionally I could kind of understand what they were saying but so far yeah the Occitan sounds sounds quite complicated but we will make more videos and I think I want to split it in several sections and then we can try and see if I can understand more with the Occitan language spoken in Italy, because maybe it will be closer to the way I would imagine things to be pronounced. Well, if you're interested, let me know in the comments, of course, and let me know if you have had different experiences, or maybe you could understand more than I could. Absolutely, let me know in the comments, and as always, thank you for joining Metatrons Academy.